I'm gonna block you. So. straight 24 inch unit the lace is five by five this is their bye bye knots unit it is pre-cut pre-bleached pre-plucked so i didn't have to do anything i did not put any powder on my wig cap i literally took this wig right out of the package applied it to my head cut the little tiny pieces of lace that were down which i didn't even need to cut those those actually could have stayed because they blended in with my skin perfectly but i just snipped a little bit of them off i put some spray on i let the band melt the lace into my skin for about 15 to 20 minutes 
flat iron my hair and that's it. I didn't even have to cut layers in this. All I did was cut about two inches of the bottom off and that's it. So let's see the length. So the 24 inch length on me comes pretty long. Almost touches my butt. This is how it looks in the back. I love Yaki Stray Units. Yaki Stray Units just emulate our hair texture, our hair that's just flat ironed. And it's just really nice, seamless and sexy. Like, look at this. So you guys check out Julia Hair. I will have all of the details down below, the links to their website, the link straight to this unit. All the details about this unit will be down below as well as a coupon code so we can save a little bit of coin. And you guys check them out. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to a new vlog. It is Wednesday, September, September 11th, 9-11. Oh, how many years has it been since? That was in 2001. I remember that day like it was yesterday. I remember exactly what I was doing, exactly how the chain of events went. I was in college, I was getting dressed, and I used to watch the news every single morning as I got dressed. My mom was home. And I remember going downstairs and like, mom, a plane just crashed into one of the towers in New York. Then I ran downstairs again. I'm like, mom, a second plane just crashed into the second tower. And she was like, what? And then when I told her about the third plane and then the fourth plane, one in the Pentagon, and then one that crashed into um, just an empty field, she was terror. I remember that day like it was literally yesterday. Like when huge events happen and people are like, do you remember exactly what you're doing? Like, I remember what I was doing when I heard the news about Aaliyah. I remember what I was doing when I heard Biggie died, when Tupac died. Like, I remember like historical, I remember when Anna Nicole Smith died. Like, I just remember like when prominent, like huge things happen. But anyways, yes, today is September 11th, y'all. Welcome to the vlog. If you guys are new here, my name is Gina Janine. I like to think of myself as your thick best friend. Let me take this off. I look crazy. I look crazy crazy let me yeah this this hairstyle is still semi holding on i'm planning on taking it out this week though probably today's wednesday probably like friday or saturday i just got done calling like eight liquor stores in the area trying to find beyonce's new liquor everywhere is sold out they either are sold out or don't have it not like I could drink. I can't drink it right now just because yeah, my surgery is literally in a couple days. Like, a couple days. So I have not drank any alcohol in since last weekend. So about 10 days. Wow, I haven't drank in about 10 days. So y'all know I'm a social drinker anyway, so it's not really that big of a deal. Last weekend, I was out of town with the kids um, in LA, so it was no reason for me to drink. And then, yeah, so. But I want it. I want it. I want it to be in my collection. Like, I want it. My plan was to drive around and just go to, like, the hood areas where there's, like, a bunch of liquor stores and just go liquor store to liquor store. But I was like, I ain't going to do that. Let me just call. And it's, I'm glad I called because I'm just like, okay, this is going to be really, really hard to do. Maybe I'll just have to wait, like, for the restock next month. But anyway, yeah. Um, I haven't been doing anything. I didn't vlog at all yesterday. We got back in town Monday night and yesterday was just a rest day, recoup and just chill. It was just a really, really chill day. I didn't have to catch up on like work. I did edit because I have a video going out today, but there's like no work to catch up on just because I am having my procedure done in a couple days. I just, September, I did not take very many sponsorships. Just because mentally, physically, I just want to like, this month is just like a, a woosah month. And I just need to think about healing and just being not stressed. You know what I mean? So I only took a couple sponsorships for this month. So yeah, but next month we are back on it. I'm already, I'm already almost full for next month. <laughs> 
I, I, it's, it's, it's a blessing, a blessing to be booked and busy. Like I, I signed some really long-term contracts recently. And so it's, it's awesome that these, these companies want to work with me for, for the long haul. So it's a blessing, but, um, yeah, this month I'm just chilling. Um, I picked up my prescription yesterday for my pain medicine and my nausea medicine. I actually have to go back today because they charged me wrong. I'm like, I have good RX. The lady who, well, the pharmacist or pharmacy tech, whatever she was, she's like, oh, it's already in the system. And I just gave them my card, pay, did not look at my receipt, nothing, y'all. Something told me, let me look at my Amex statement. I'm like, why did I pay all this money? And I went to good RX. My prescription was supposed to be $12. Like, um, absolutely not. They charged me 50. Like, no, I, run me my coins back. So I called them last night and they were like, okay, yeah, come in tomorrow and we'll, um, we'll refund you. I'm like, yeah, y'all can give me the cash back. Y'all give me a gift card. I need, I need to run me my coin, please. So if you guys don't have good RX, you need to get good RX. Like it's cheap, cheap, cheap. Even if you have insurance, you can still use good RX. I mean, it's, it's cheap prescriptions. Anyways, I tell you guys all the time, um, health insurance is a scam. <laughs> I'm not telling you not to have it, but it's just crazy how you pay all this money for your health insurance just to pay the same amount as someone who doesn't have health insurance. And in a lot of cases, the people who don't have health insurance pay way less. It's crazy. But anyway, yeah, but I'm not telling you not to have it. You definitely need health insurance. If your job offers it, get it. But I am saying <laughs> sometimes you need to go into your doctor's visits or in the pharmacy and ask, what's the difference if I pay with my insurance or if I do self-pay? What's the price difference? I'm just telling you, a lot of times it'll be cheaper to do self-pay. So all you do, just ask, just ask. Anyway, so... Yeah, it is still a nasty rainy day. I wanted to get dressed and do like a content day, but it has been nasty, quite literally, for like the past six days. Like, it has just been nasty outside every single day for the past week. So it's nasty and gloomy right now. It's supposed to rain again at 2 p.m. Yeah, it's a 45, no, scratch that. 85% chance of rain at 2 p.m. So it's like the look that I'm going for is like coffee shop. So I wanted to like sit outside and eat like lunch or outside at like a coffee shop with like a really cutesy outfit. Like that was my vision for the pictures that I wanted to take. So, I mean, I could still do it. It's supposedly the sun coming out at four. That's what this thing said, the sun coming out at four o'clock. We gonna see. We gonna see how I feel because it's still early, so. Anyways, y'all, I'm just checking in. Any other housekeeping things? No, not that I could think of. Oh, uh, let me show y'all um, a couple of the things that I bought when I was in LA. Nothing major. Oh, these are from Fashion Nova. I got a Fashion Nova package yesterday I didn't show y'all. But I got some bag charms. So I got a little teddy bear and some chairs. Y'all know I've been doing bag charms for the absolute longest. And it's so crazy how bag charms are like a really popular thing right now. I'm like, I've been doing that for years. Y'all know that Louis Vuitton that I take on all of my uh, trips. I have cherries hanging from that one. And I used to have little brown tassels hanging from it, but it broke. And then my Louis Vuitton fanny pack. I put a gold chain on that one. And then my Louis Vuitton. Let me just show y'all. So like this chain I put on, y'all remember, y'all would remember cause I vlogged this. I bought this chain from Amazon like three years ago and put it on the vanity. And then also I did it for this bag also. I just put a little gold chain on here. Oh, I said cherries on this. Oh, it did have cherries on it, but the cherries broke. So I have the red heart. It also had cherries on it and it had a brown tassel on it. This bag, when I carried it every day, it had a lot of bag charms on it. And I know I did not start the bag charm uh, trend. I did not. But I'm just saying that I've been doing this for years. And it's so funny how like everybody's like just now doing it. 
but anyways yeah i bought a couple more bag charms to jazz up some oh i also did this bag look i forgot i did this bag i just don't wear this bag that often i bought this chain from amazon and put it on here i've been dressing up my bags for a very for years y'all for for forever so yeah Am I a trendsetter? Is it me? No, I'm just playing. It's not me. I know for sure it's not. But in LA, I got this. This body butter. Y'all know I love um, Sol Janeiro body butter for vacation. So I didn't have this scent. So I just got this one. This is the little small one. It was like $22. Then we also went to H&M. Oh, let me show y'all this. H&M be having them good prices, y'all. This white linen shirt. I got it for $7.99 so I can wear this like on vacation with a bathing suit underneath it or just with some of my trousers. But this was a $20 shirt that I got for $7.99. Then y'all already know the, the trend with the zebra, not the zebra, the, the leopard print trend y'all. So we were at Zara in LA. I probably could have ordered this online. I really need a large, but they didn't have it in store. So I just got the medium, it stretches, but a large will probably fit better. I might exchange it. We'll see. Anyways, anyways, I picked this out. Super cute. And then Ashton picked this out. Not really my style, but I thought it would be cute. Ashton was like, this is going to be the cutest combination. So I picked this shirt out. And then Ashton saw this skirt at H&M. And she was like, wear them together. And I'm like, I don't wear skirts like this. She was like, but mom, it's going to look so cute on you. Just a pleated skirt. It says $7.99, but it rang up $6.99. And I guess the original price was $19.99. But it's just a pleated. So it's giving very much fall vibes. So if I wear this together with like a little black kitten heel, it's gonna look so cutesy, so demure, so mindful, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I also bought a vintage soccer shirt from a vintage shop out there. I bought a few items for Byron. The kids got, they did a lot of shopping. They got a lot of stuff. Um, if y'all want to see what Ashton got, it will be on her blog channel. I have to edit that footage, so it'll be out probably next week. Yeah, LA had some really, really good shopping. So, I mean, I can't believe I got this skirt for $6.99. Like, these skirts are very, very popular, and this color is a winter color. So, for it to be $6.99 is, like, crazy. But we'll see if I actually wear it. <laughs> but, okay, y'all, I have been talking y'all's head off. For too long, let me figure out what I'm going to do. It's 1 o'clock. I have not eaten anything, so I really want to eat, but I do have my coffee. Y'all know, even when I don't eat, your girl got her iced coffee. So. Okay, y'all, so this is the look. We're trying to do cutesy and demure and just real, like, girly. So this is a linen flowy dress that I got on clearance from TJ Maxx for $13. And the reason I think it was on clearance because the string had came out of here. I had to feed the string back through. But I'm like, I wasn't going to pay $25, but $13 is perfect. And then just my Louis bag, gold bangles, my brown Hermes slides. And then th these Loewe glasses. And then keep them with the Louis Vuitton, Louis, Louis, Louis. Y'all, the hair is sliding. It's time for this hair to come out. It's time for this hair to be redone. Because, baby, she is sliding. So, I'm trying to really camouflage that. But Friday makes two weeks. So, I plan on taking it out on Friday. So, yeah. All right. Let's go find a cute little coffee shop and take some pictures. I, I just talked to Jennifer. I'm trying to convince her to come out with me. We've been on the phone for, we, we was on the phone for like 30 minutes. But I don't know if sis going to get up. And get dressed. I don't know. We had TJ Maxx, y'all. Look how pretty the perfume section is. Wow. Somebody must have just organized this. It looks so pretty. I'm here to find some body glitter that a lot of y'all subbies have been sending me. But it's probably sold out because y'all sent it to me last week. But that's what I'm here for. But this looks so pretty. Y'all ain't never tried like the little cheapy perfumes at TJ Maxx? These are like good like layering scents and like out the shower scents. I use mine for like the gym and stuff like that. It looks so pretty. It makes me want to get something, but I don't need it at all. This one looks real pretty. Vanilla. Let's smell this one. This smells so good. 
Y'all, I found it and crazy. It's in the uh, the section with face drops, face oils. So many of y'all have sent me this and said that it is amazing and the sparkle is amazing because y'all know I love to be glistening and gleaming when I'm on vacation. Is it a spray? Oh, it's not a spray. It's a... How do you use it? Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. I don't know if y'all can see. Child. I can't never show y'all the sparkle on camera. It never shows good on camera, but... Oh, yeah, this one is good. And it smells amazing. And it's only $6.99. Thank you. If they had more, I would buy, be buying more of them. They only got one. Dang it. Okay, this is the reason why I came. Let's see if this... Is this the one that I bought last week? Oh, they got it. Hold on. Oh, they do have more. They have it in this form. I wonder which one's better. Multi-purpose, multi-purpose. I'm gonna go ahead and buy both of them. Cause it's the same name brand, but it's just in a different bottle. But I don't wanna open this one up to see cause it's, it has the, yeah, see it got the foil on top. So I ain't gonna do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy it. Yeah, this is the, now this is the one that I bought a few weeks ago this brand is really good pink sky bronze goddess yeah this one's good and don't have no top on it oh they got another one jennifer you want one one of these things it's a it's a body thing because she has started wearing mascara every day and she comes in my room every morning when she messes up and gets it down here and wipes it with my Mac. So I need to get her her own. That's a good sample and it's on sale. Y'all, I went in for one thing, two bags and $80 later. It don't make no sense. This is crazy. And why did I feel like I needed to buy all of them body glitters? I ain't got enough body or enough trip <laughs> for the amount of body glitter that I got. Oh, Lord. So what I'm going to do, because it's getting late, y'all, I'm about to stop and get me something to eat. Go pick up Ethan from football. Pick up Ashton and then have her take my pictures. Because she asked to go to the Galleria today. So I'm like, that's perfect. So I can take her to the Galleria and there's cute little spots over in that area where I can take some pictures. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. What? All right, y'all, we at Starbucks. I'm about to see if they have this drink that they had in L.A., Fingers crossed, because I want to try it. 
No, I didn't. Mm -mm. Uh, how can I help you? Hi, do you guys have the um, iced non-dairy salted caramel cookie matcha? Yeah, we sure do. Let's ah, you have it. Okay. Yeah, we got it. I don't. I didn't see it on the. I saw it was just in LA on the weekend, and I saw it there. And I okay, this makes me happy. Yes, ma'am, we got it. I, I, I would like a grande. Okay, sure. Light ice. Light ice. Are you able to make it sugar free or no? Uh, not necessarily. The only like sugar free option we carry here is gonna be sugar free vanilla, but for this one, we don't add any like additional syrups or anything. Oh, it's, I like, see. Matcha powder. Okay, no problem. Syrup. I'll just get it how it comes. Okay, no problem. Anything else for you? That'll be it. All right, it's gonna ring out to 644. I'll see you Okay, awesome. Thank you. Oh, y'all, I wanted to try this in L.A., but did not have a chance to try it. Y'all know I love me a good old matcha. And it's non-dairy. Okay. Hello. All right. Sorry, I should have had my app. There you go. I'm sorry? I should have had my app pulled up already. Okay. Early afternoon. I'm sorry. A straw? Yes, please. All right, Thank you. Y'all, this don't make no sense. It's 5:15. I've had iced coffee and now matcha. That is it. I have not given my body any nourishment. <laughs> this makes no sense. I guess it's a girl breakfast and a girl lunch type of day. Got this how it look. Oh, dang it, a car pulled behind me. I'm trying to show y'all. Hold up. Hold, please. Let's see. Oh my God. It's so good. He gave me no ice. I asked for light ice. If you like matcha, you're going to like this. And it has little crumbles of um, cookie in it. It's a lot later. I got my photographer with me. Neck broken all, but the neck gonna be working in just a minute. We're headed to the location where I want to take my pictures. But y'all, it's so dark and ugly and gloomy. It's like the sun came out for like two hours, and then now it's just dark and nasty again. Look at the sky. It's dark. But you can see back there. It's like blue, but all in this area is just dark. I'm gonna try to make it do what it do, but I just don't know. I'm gonna have to edit these pictures like probably a lot, a lot. We at the mall now. This girl just made a big old purchase. Y'all wanna see, y'all go watch her channel. Oh. Mommy, I'm gonna show them on here, obviously. Okay. Yeah, so I am actually about to go in Louis Vuitton real quick. They close in like nine minutes. <laughs> I just want to see if they have something in stock. I just want to look, you know, no commitment. I just want to look. So that's what we're about to do. And y'all, the pictures, surprisingly, they turned out pretty good. I just need to edit them. The only thing that I don't like, they were bright enough. It's just the ground is wet. So that's the only thing where it's just like, mm, the ground is all wet. So, but I still think they came out good. My photographer, she was annoyed because she was, knocked out sleep and when we got there i'm like ashton wake up ashton wake up wake up wake up <laughs> so yeah and i doubt i can bring y'all in louis vuitton because y'all know how these designer stores are they do not want you filming oh baby look at this store look at this bag can y'all see these saint laurent travel bags look at that that is a beauty and then that one Y'all, I got so many compliments today on my outfit. Should I, should I start dressing more like girly girly? Uh, we went to the mall. Like so many people stopped me at the mall, and we weren't even there for that long. I was just like, I don't know. It just gives me. Maybe I need to get out of my head to stop thinking everything has to accentuate my shape. Maybe that's what I have to get out of my head, y'all. That's why I've had the same style for so long. I'm trying to get out of it. 
<sighs> but it's hard. Y'all know I've transitioned into trousers and baggy your pants, but it's just something about something has to be tight, you know? But I honestly think this was gonna look so much better when I get these cut down. Cause it's just like so much spillage out the side. Just so much like I had to tug on it all day today. And it's just like, I think once I'm smaller, I'm gonna be, I'm just, I'm just excited about this, this procedure that's coming up y'all. So, but let me know how y'all think about it in this color. Oh, I'll show y'all. I was just, just shocked at how many compliments I got. Like, I'm like, really? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Ashton was like, dang. She was like, everybody keeps telling you how pretty you look. I'm like, I know, but what's your opinion? Do you like it? She was like, mm, it's all right. It's all right. That's what she said, it's all right. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. And I'll take with me the memories. <sighs> I'm getting rid of my favorite leggings, y'all. <laughs> They're actually like uncomfortable to wear now because there's so many holes in the crotch. <sighs> they fit so good and I cannot find them. But this don't make no sense. That's one leg. This the other leg. Now when they rub, it just, it feels weird in between my legs. The skin that pops through the toe and it's rubbing on the other skin that's popping through the other holes on the other leg. It's just uncomfortable at this point, but these have lasted me. I probably had these in like three years and they've stayed jet black. They're not faded at all. They're jet black. The length, the waistband, everything is just perfect, but I, I have to get rid of them. Like it's just at this point, it's like Gina, come on now. But Tina did give me some more leggings, y'all. Tina got me some more leggings. I wore them on the LA trip, but I don't think I showed y'all because I wore them going to LA and I wore them coming home. And I don't think I, cause I didn't, my outfit was just like a travel outfit. So I didn't show y'all, but she got me some leggings. They're her favorite leggings. And I ain't gonna lie, they're very good. They're very nice. They're very comparable to those, except they're thinner and the waistband is a little bit thicker. The ones I just put in the trash, they're just perfection. But I'll link the ones down below that are Tina's favorite. They're very, they're very good, don't get me wrong. They're, they're very, very, very good. They have a very discreet scrunch booty. They're not, it don't make you like the hamburger booty because I know a lot of people don't like that. But they're long, they're tall girl friendly, they're very black. They're just a lot thinner. With my long nails, it feels like I could possibly put a hole in them pulling them up, but. Anyways, they're good. I'll definitely be ordering a second pair. So yeah, y'all look down below. I'll put, I'll link the ones that uh, Tina just bought me down below. But <gasps> y'all, it is so hard finding good, good, good leggings. <sighs> anyway, I'm about to eat dinner and then sit down and watch TV. I made oxtails. I'm starting to make oxtails more often. At least once a month, I make my baby oxtails. Y'all know that's Ethan's favorite food. So I made oxtails. So that's what I'm about to eat. And then I'm gonna sit down and watch trash TV. My guilty pleasure, I have trash TV, reality shows. So that's what I'm about to do. So I might not pick y'all back up tonight. I might, might not. We'll see you in the next clip. <laughs> hey y'all, good morning. We are up. My bed is halfway made. I don't think I'm gonna put my decorative pillows on. I just. It's made, it's halfway made, that's good enough for me. I have a lash appointment in about an hour. I am actually gonna get dressed for the day because I wanna take more pictures today. Yesterday the pictures came out okay, I need to edit them. They came out good, let me say that. They came out good, but it was just dark, gloomy, the ground was wet, and yeah. So today is supposed to be a little nicer. It looks... Looking out my window, it's looking kind of overcast. Let me see if there's supposed to be rain today. 
No rain in the forecast, but we know how that goes. No rain in the forecast. None at all, but it is looking uh, dark and gloomy. Anyway, so I'm going to get dressed, dressed, go get my lashes done, and then find a location to try to take some cute pictures. And I got to take them myself. Ashlyn was my photographer yesterday. So we're going to see. So this is the outfit that I'm wearing. This really cute sweater vest. I showed y'all this in the last vlog. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Oops. Got this from Ross for $12. Told you guys this is inspired by Chelsea Janae. I like her contemporary put together look. So this was definitely inspired by her. Shout out to my girl. Some black trousers. And then we're going to accessorize with uh, black and gold accessories. I think I found the Sir Davis whiskey. Oh, sorry. I'm getting a little too excited. Making the wrong driving moves. Uh, I was just driving by this Fex and I'm like, let me call them. Cause y'all know I call in my area. I called like eight or nine locations yesterday. Everywhere was either we never got it or we're sold out. And so I'm over here, I just drove by. I'm like, let me call and see. Cause this, this area, mm, I don't think people checking for Beyonce's drink over here. I called and they said they have it. I said, sir, are you sure? Are you sure you sure? He's like, yeah, yeah. He just didn't sound 100% sure, but yeah, I made a hurt and busted U-turn in the middle of the street to come right on back. Oh, and I got my lashes done, y'all. Got my lashes done, did not do bottom lashes. Oh, I'm parked a little too close to this man. Let me scoot over. Okay, yeah, got my lashes done. I didn't do bottom lashes this time. I just, yeah, I like the bottom lashes, but no. I wasn't gonna lay that for an extra hour. She also did my eyebrows and I don't like them. They're not, look at this one. And look at this one. And this one has a high arch. This one is more straight. The wig is on its last leg. As you guys can see, it has slid a whole, whole lot. <sighs> but I wanna keep it for one. My goal is to keep it till Friday or Saturday. It is Thursday. Friday or Saturday is the goal. Then I'm gonna take it out. I wish I could just lift it up, bring it forward and plaster it back down, but it's not gonna sit right. Like it's gonna, I think it's gonna totally fuck it up if I do that. Whoa, who is this? Oh, y'all not gonna believe it. I got the last bottle. Oh my God. Shot. Ugh. Okay, so y'all know my surgery is coming up, and my doctor told me two weeks. Don't drink two weeks before surgery. I've had other doctors tell me a week before surgery. I'm about to look it up on Google and see if Google agrees. <laughs> Oh, look at me being bad. Oh my God. Is it even this serious? I want to try it. When can you stop drinking before surgery? Oh, the very first thing that pops up, the very first thing. It says 48 hours. You should stop drinking alcohol at least 48 hours before surgery, but ideally, oh, but ideally a week or two earlier. Okay, the second one, we strongly recommend patients stop drinking alcohol a minimum of two days before surgery, but longer would be better. Limiting alcohol, that doesn't say stopping. This next article says limiting alcohol two to eight weeks. Jesus Christ, two to eight weeks. Okay, the next article says 48 hours. Okay, so the top one, two, three, four articles, three of them says 48 hours. <sighs> My thing is people go into surgery every day, B. People, people go into surgery every day, B, like for real. What if I'm at the bar drinking and I need surgery like an emergency, like I get in a car accident and I break my leg and I need surgery. I'm gonna have current alcohol in my system. There's ways of preventing this. Like, uh, today is Thursday. Surgery is Monday. So we are three days prior. Here we are, 4.30 p.m. And I did not take pictures yet, y'all. 
I don't know why I be waiting till it's it's ugly and gloomy outside. But anyway, we'll talk about that later. I haven't taken my pictures, and outfit turned out so cute. But I want to try this. I want to call Jennifer to come to the house to try this liquor. Let me call her. Let me call her. I have not vlogged today because I am just very disappointed in myself. I got dressed to make content. It was dark and gloomy, which was no fault of my own. But I said, I'm gonna wait till like five or six o'clock because the sun is still out. Y'all, I waited, wanted to have to take the kids to practice and I just, I could not get my content. I'm annoyed because that was the only thing that I really had to do today was my content and I'm annoyed and then I went to go turn in my passport renewal I'm I get sick of incompetent people let me not say they're not in, they're, maybe they're not incompetent maybe that's the wrong word to use but if I go to the post office and there is stuff plastered everywhere even at the desk the desk that I'm standing at it says passport information passport fees everything about passports plastered everywhere but you don't know how to fill out the passport ap application and make sure that, it, well, not really fill it out. I filled it out, but I said, I just need someone to double check before I send this out and send my passport with the money. I want to make sure I have everything filled out correctly and done. Oh, buddy didn't know what to do. He asked the person next to him. They didn't know what to do. He went to the back, asked two other people. They didn't know what to do. Then there was some other guy who wasn't even in a, a post office uniform. He was in like regular, he looked like a manager or something. Asked if nobody knew what to do. It was like six people. Nobody knew what to do for passports. They're like, oh, the passport guy is at lunch. It's 4.45. He's at lunch. Is he about to come back? Like I can wait for like 15 minutes. They're like, Oh, he's gonna be gone for an hour. I said, y'all close at six, right? He was like, yeah. It's 4.45, the passport guy is gone for an hour, which means he's not gonna be back till 5.45 and y'all close at six, so he's coming back for 15 minutes. It makes no sense to me. I don't know, maybe I'm just on edge today because I'm just mad because I didn't do what I needed to do. I don't know. So another day of me not mailing in my passport Another day of not getting content. I'm just annoyed. And I'm sleepy. I only had like four hours of sleep last night. So I'm really sleepy. Then my baby daddy pissed me off. He ain't pissed me off, but it's like, figure it out. My whole thing is always as a parent, you figure shit out. It's his weekend with the kids. God forbid, like I was traveling or had something to do. You know, he was like, can the kids stay with you because of X, Y, and Z? I'm like, Yes, of course. They're my kids. Like, yeah, I'm not traveling this weekend. So yeah, they can stay with me. But it's like, I wouldn't ask you for that favor because as a mom, I'm going to figure it out. I don't know. Everybody's just annoying me today. Everybody's pissing me off today. I'm just on edge today. So the kids are staying with me this weekend, which is fine. I got friends coming in town. I can't drink because I have surgery on Monday. <laughs> so it's just a lot. I'm just stressing myself out. That's what it is. So everybody's just has pissed me off today. <laughs> but you will see this outfit again because I want to take pictures and I think it's really cute. So yeah, I have not vlogged today. Only time I vlogged was earlier, earlier in the day. So it's 8.30 right now. And yeah. So yeah, um, I'm probably about to just Take my clothes off, shower, and lay down. I really want to go to sleep, but 8.30 is too early. I'm going to be up. I'm, I'm going to be waking up in the middle of the night, probably. I want to try to stay awake till at least 10.30. If I can stay awake till 10.30, I'll sleep throughout the whole night. Hmm, let's try this cookie. I went back to Tiny's Milk and Cookies. The place that Tina's favorite bakery. I passed by one today. And so I was like, let me stop by. They had molasses cookies cinnamon molasses is that what this is called cinnamon i want to say cinnamon molasses yeah i don't even know what molasses is i've only seen molasses on tv i ain't never cooked with it i ain't never tasted it oh ginger molasses is it ginger molasses is this gingerbread it's not gingerbread 
Anyways, let's try it. My mom would have loved this cookie. It's not bad. It's just not what I was expecting. Ooh. Okay, I don't think I like that. It has a weird aftertaste. I never liked gingerbread cookies. Mm -mm. It got like, it's like spicy too. It got a little spice to it. Mm. Hey y'all. Good morning. Happy Friday. So I did not vlog anymore last night. Clearly, clearly y'all watching the vlog. Um, I woke up today with a better attitude and a better mood. Um, I always say that your mind is bigger than your emotions. So I was having just like a weird day yesterday. I wasn't in like a good headspace. I was just like, ugh. So that's why I got off camera. But um, I woke up today like you were going to have a good day. You are not going to worry about any bullshit. If you can't get something done, you just can't get something done. You can't change the things that have already passed, you know? So all I can do is move forward, make better decisions with my time. And yeah, so we're going to be able to do our passport today. We're going to be able to get some content today. We're gonna get work done, so yeah. Always remember, ladies, gentlemen, you can define your day. You can wake up and have the day that you want to have because your mind is stronger than your emotions. Always remember that. So let's make some coffee on that note. Today was my kids. My refrigerator looks so terrible and bare. I don't even want to open it too big and show y'all. It's bare. Today was the kids' first day of they're in a... Is it a group? Yeah, they're in a group for Christian athletes. So this is their first time being part of a, it's not, what is it called? Is it called a group? I was never in any of them in middle school and high school. Fellowship of Christian athletes. Yeah. So it's a, it's a group with the school. So every Friday I have to drop them off early. I, it's just the start of more to come. When they become seniors in high school and they get their letterman jackets, I want them to have every patch. So them starting off doing this in middle school is just going to lead to them getting in more groups in high school. And I want them to have all the patches on their jacket because clearly they're going to be good athletes. Clearly they're going to be on varsity and all that. You know, it's just in their DNA. They're, they're, my kids are athletes, but I want them to be part of organizations and stuff too, so... Yeah, it's just, I, I want them to do what, the stuff that I didn't get a chance to do because I made a decision to get pregnant, which I wouldn't change that for nothing. I love my baby Byron. I would, I'll tell you guys all the time that he is the best child possible. Like he is like just the best child for me. Like he is not in the streets. He don't drink. He don't smoke. He don't party. He don't do nothing. His idea of fun is trying new restaurants He's a gamer and yeah, like I don't have any worries with him at all. And I love that for me and I love it for him too. But Ethan and Ashton, they're, they're athletes and I just love the direction that they're going in. So I just can't wait to see them when they're like juniors and seniors and you know, so yeah. So it's just pretty cool dropping them off today. It's like y'all are in your first organization. Like, wow. <laughs> so. Yes, yes, yes. So my plan today is to put my outfit back on that I had on yesterday. Put that exact same outfit back on. Go to a coffee shop, y'all. It is beautiful outside. It's gorgeous outside. It is sunny. Sky is clear. It's not too, it's hot, but it ain't too hot. My plan is to go and find a cute coffee shop and take the pictures that I wanted to take yesterday. So... I'm probably going to do that maybe within the next hour. I'm going to sip on my coffee, try to find the perfect coffee shop. I already have one in my head, but I need to look and make sure it's the look that I want. 
and take pictures and then come back home and then put on my real Friday outfit. <laughs> and then like go get my cars. I, I need both of my cars washed. So yeah, that's the plan. We just got some, nothing major to do today, but you know, just some things that I wanna do today. I also wanna try Crumbles Cookies this week. They have a Tres Leche cake cookie i don't even know whether to call them cookies anymore because it seems like every week now with their cookie selection they have something that's like a pastry so they have a tres leche cookie butter that i really want to try and i think they have a peanut butter one i believe it's peanut butter i want to try too but especially the tres leche so big bag big bag <laughs> And not me making coffee, knowing I'm going to a coffee shop in a little bit. It's a little bit too dark. Oh, that concentrated coffee will hit you right in the back of your throat. I'm gonna have to pour some of this out to get the flavor right. Ugh. Crazy part about it is this comes with a measuring spoon. I just always refuse to use it. It's in my pantry. I have it, I just don't use it. It's a little bit better. The sweetener is iced cinnamon roll. Y'all know I get all of my sweeteners from like Ross, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. They always go on sale. Like this one was $3 at TJ Maxx. I really just messed it up. Dang it, man. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pour half of it in here and drink this tomorrow. Yeah. I'm gonna pour some of it out into this cup and then add more milk to this and then I'll drink this tomorrow. I don't know, in my mind it sounds right. Let me do this over the sink before I make a big old mess. Okay, take two. Add a little bit more milk. That's all I need it. I just need to be cut down. Okay, y'all, I'm looking like yesterday. I told y'all I was putting yesterday's outfit back on so I could take pictures. We have been productive. I went to Ross and I did my return. I went to a different post office and I got my renewal submitted. So now I am headed to this coffee shop. Jennifer's already there. We're gonna take some pictures and then I have another stop to make at TJ Maxx and then the plan is to get a car wash after that and then after that, just whatever, however the weekend decides to play out. But y'all yeah, want to get this car washed. I want to get my other car washed. I have a grocery order to pick up. I got to pick up Ethan from football practice. Uh, that's not for a few hours, but yeah. So, yeah, the day is going good. Uh, as long as these pictures come out how I have it imagined in my head, then I think we, everything, we good. We cash money for today, you know, so, yeah. Okay, so we done made it to the location. Waiting on ma'am to get out her car. It doesn't look how I thought it was gonna look. Ooh, they have a Ghani store over here. Ooh, okay, we might need to stop by there. But yeah, so it's not really giving what I thought it was gonna give, y'all. Why are so many fine ass girls going into solid core? I want to show y'all these two girls who just walked in. Solid core, they're fine as hell. Oh my God. Girl, you know you fine. Girl. <laughs> oh shit. God damn, do I need to do Pilates, bitch? All the thick stallions walked up in there. Sheesh. Okay, let me, let me, let's get this going before I start sweating, bitch. You want to start over here? Yeah, but I'm going to move my car once we go, if we move it anywhere else. Oh, I don't, I don't believe, I don't plan on it. 
I plan on doing just this area right here. Oh, okay. I know you lying. So this dude got famous off of his salads. It's called the Logan. And it's a cucumber salad. Okay, um, yep, I'll be trying that. <laughs> What's in it? Cucumbers, everything seasoning, salmon, avocado, cream cheese. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is the salad. It looks bomb. We'll see how it tastes. But I'm trying to get my little setup. You know, coffee shop vibes. So I'm done taking my pictures. Now it's time to taste the prop. <laughs> oh my God, look how big it is. It's just okay. y'all let's see what this salad tastes like oh wow wow <laughs> mm. this is good now i'm gonna try to recreate this at home because paying however much i paid 12 13 dollars out of line I'm gonna try to make this at home. This is good. Mmm, mmm. I'm gonna have to look back at the footage and see what the uh, ing oh, the ingredients are right on here. I'm gonna put my own little spin on it. I'm gonna save this cup, put my own little spin on it. Mmm, mmm. Did they use tuna or salmon? Salmon. I'm to my face. Okay, y'all. So I'm going out. Can y'all see? Oh. Yep, so I'm going out. I'm going to meet um, one of my guy friends at a restaurant. Him and his homeboy. This is the same guy who took me to lunch at that Mediterranean spot a few weeks ago. Same guy who I went out with like two weeks ago and I didn't record nothing. I think I told you about that in the vlog. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to meet him to go get something to eat. This is the outfit. These are some low-rise jeans from Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova t-shirt. Uh, can y'all see my heels? The screen is so small. I can't even tell if y'all can see these heels. Anyways, the heels are the exact same. They're a kitten, okay? They're about a little one and a half, two-inch heel, okay? They're from Shein. Go yard bag. A layered necklace all these necklaces are from Shein. these are my earrings that i've been loving I, i've been showing y'all these pretty much in every vlog they're from um forever 21 then my friendship bracelet and then just my rings rings i already showed y'all the bag and yeah i did put a little bit of a curl in my hair so i did like about four curls on this side four curls on that side and then just finger combed it out i told y'all i'm about to take this wig off probably either tomorrow not probably tomorrow, tomorrow for show. Sure. That's the plan. Anyways, let's go. I, I don't know if I'm gonna record tonight, y'all. I, I really don't. He was like, yeah, you could record, record, record. And I'm like, hey, sir, I don't know. I don't know, but anyway. morning y'all happy saturday i just got done Oof. excuse me oh lord look yes baby this morning i didn't even drink last night but um 
I just did some editing. I have a video I might put out tomorrow. I might not. I told you guys September is like September. I just allotted this month to be like a chill month. So yeah, I'm going to try to put it out tomorrow. If I don't, then I'm not going to beat myself up about it. So anyway, um, yeah, I did some editing. I'm watching some vlogs. I'm watching Miss Creative Diva right now. And yeah, I'm gonna get up and meet Drea. We're going to a nail salon to do some promo. Um, so I'm gonna get dressed and go meet her in about an hour. And yeah, last night was fun. I did not record anything, y'all. So I'm sorry. Sorry I didn't record, but last night was fun. We literally sat at this restaurant called Joey Uptown for like they closed it 1 a.m. I got there at like 8, something like that. No, I didn't get there at 8. I'm so lying. I got there at like 9, 9.30, 9, 9, 9.30. And we stayed till they closed, like till the lights came on, till they closed, literally. Good conversation, chilling, like he was there with all his homeboys and some of their homegirls pulled up and we was just all, it was a vibe. It was a vibe and I had so much fun just talking with everybody and not drinking. I need to get out of my head that I have to drink to be social with people. I don't. It was, now it was weird. Everybody's doing rounds of shot, 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 drink, shot, drink, shot, shot, buy bottles and all that. But it was just like, let me chill. And when I say bottles, I'm talking about wine. They don't, they don't sell bottles like that at restaurants. But, um, yeah it was just it was, it was a nice little vibe my little you know it's my little boo friend you know so it was a vibe just to be able to kick it with him and meet his people so anyways um that's on the agenda for today is meeting madria i need to take my car to get a hand car wash and yeah that's it and then i'll probably do a little bit more editing like later on tonight but other than that i don't have like plan plans i do have a guy friend coming in from out of town he says he's coming in town just to take me to dinner tonight we'll see if that really happens we gonna see he said that he arrives at 7 p.m we'll see if that really happens because he was supposed to do this last week week before no the week before is when i met him oh he wanted to last week but i was going out of town that's what it was i was in la so he's coming in town tonight to take me to dinner. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. Okay. Bye, y'all. Okay, y'all. So we had a little change of plans. Well, I had a little change of plans. I am not going with Drea to do promo for that nail salon. It was an hour and 20 minutes away. An hour and 20 minutes away. I told her I figured maybe like 45 minutes. An hour and 20 is wild, insane. So I sent her a screenshot of Waze and I said, girl, I, I can't do it. An hour and 20 minutes, I, I, I can't do it. To go to a nail salon, mm -mm. I said, I appreciate the offer. I appreciate the love, love you girl, but I'm gonna have to miss out on this one. So yeah, I'm about to just go get my car washed now. Um. And then after that, probably come back to the house. I need to do a return to the Galleria, but I don't feel like it. I'm not going back to the Galleria until it's time for me to pick up my bag that I bought and Ashen's jewelry. Like, that's, that's it. <sighs> it's something about the Galleria. If y'all live in Houston, then you know. Parking sucks on weekends. The traffic in front of the Galleria sucks on weekends. Like, it, it's no reason for me to go and make a little $40 return right now today trying to maybe i must have slept good last night because i recurled my hair yesterday but it's looking a little a little wild a little wild child i just got the phone with jennifer because she was saying she wants to get a hand car wash but she didn't know where to go and i'm like girl come to my place forty dollars and you got about four five people working on your car at once you they got they get you in and out and that's for the presidential. They have two different washes. They have the basic wash and the presidential. Forty dollars. It's a little bit of a drive. It's gonna take me about a good twenty-five minutes to get there, but it's worth it because most hand car washes you're paying over a hundred dollars. Okay. And y'all, I decided not to do a what's it called a um 
Oh, what's it called? The thing that I told y'all about in the last vlog that you have to pay for to see my surgery journey. Child, I can't think of the name of it. It's going to come to me in just a second. But um, anyway, yeah, I decided not to make one of those pages and have y'all pay and then me post some updates on a separate platform. It just, it is what it is. Like, I'm going to show y'all what I can show y'all on here and whatever I can't show you, I just can't show you. I'll describe it and tell you about it. But yeah, I decided not to make that Patreon. That's what it's called, a Patreon. But um, yeah, I'm just... It is what it is. Even if you try to show stuff for educational purposes, they'll demonetize your video. When I got, I think I told y'all, when I got my nose done, like they demonetized that video and I'm like, I did not show anything. Like I literally didn't, I showed them like a little bit of, of red body fluid <laughs> on the, like the gauze and stuff. And then I didn't even go in depth when he was taking the sutures out. Like, anyway, this is the outfit. This is just something I threw on real quick. These are the leggings that I told you that my sister uh, recommended. Not recommended. She bought these for me, and I recommend them to y'all. I told y'all that they're really good. These are my new replacements for my leggings that I just threw away. So, really thick waistband. This is the only part that I don't like, how thick the waistband is. I wish it was like half of this thickness, but it's still good. It's still really high-waisted, long, comes all the way down to my ankles. And y'all know I'm a towel. Stay in. And then just this hair on Preston t-shirt that I got from Setire a few years ago. And then I'm wearing my Ricks. I think I got these from Essence. And then I'm just gonna carry my same Go Yard bag that I wore last night because it matches y'all. And then my Louis shades. Yeah, that's it. I'm trying to debate, do I wanna make myself some coffee or do I wanna buy some? I kinda wanna buy some coffee. I'm getting a little spoiled. Y'all you know, the other day I had Starbucks matcha. Oh, I'm gonna go back and get that. I had Starbucks matcha. Yesterday I had La La Land cop, uh, latte. So I might, I don't know. We'll see. I'm so annoyed because my clear, oh, my clear Starbucks cup is missing. My nail is loose. Oh, I need to, oh, I need to glue that thing back on. My clear Starbucks cup is missing. Where is my shit? I told y'all all the time, I don't lose stuff. Like, I don't lose stuff. I don't leave stuff places. I just don't. I've had that Starbucks cup for years, and now it's missing. I just have a feeling it's upstairs in one of their bedrooms, or one of them took it to school. Because where's my shit at? This cup is cool, but, you know, this I got this on clearance for like $3 at Forever 21. It's already like cracked, kind of loose. Like, I want my old faithful cup. Where the hell is my shit at? Let me go glue this nail back on real quick. Hold, please. We at the car wash. Mine is long. I started way back there. We can get you a presidential wash for $35. That's why it's so packed. And it's connected to a restaurant and a hookah lounge. I've been calling Jennifer to try to get her to come. <laughs> she already had a busy day today though. Okay y'all, I'm about to go on a little date. <laughs> about to say, is it a date? Yeah, it's a date. Okay, so yeah, I'm going on a date, uh, oyster date with the guy who I met up with last night. So I am already was in the area that he wanted to get food from. So I was like, let me just sit here and waste time. Baby, I went to Crumble Cookie, please tell me. Why did I sit up here in this car and eat that damn crumble cookie? <laughs> cause I've been sitting here for like 15 minutes. Cause he already told me, he was like, it's gonna take me like 45 minutes to get there. But anyway, yeah, I'm going on a little uh, day with him. He told me oysters are his favorite food and he wanted to get oysters. So we're here, but it's like, I got the other guy coming in town and me and him are going to dinner tonight. I need to be able to go home and take this damn wig off. I need to go take this wig. Like, I, this is not gonna last me for dinner. All of this is my real hair. From here to here, this is my real hair. The wig has slid back to here. So I need to be able to shower, take this wig off, and put on something cute. Cause what I got on, what I got on is cute, but it's like daytime street clothes. You know what I mean? I just don't wanna, mm, yeah. 
So anyways, yeah, two dates in one night. <laughs> Who am I, bitch? <laughs> Who am I, Lord? I'm about to call Jennifer and have her talk to me to kill some time. I'm about to see how far he is and then call Jennifer so we can kill some time. Okay, super quick after the night, a little tank top that I tied up. These are those low rise jeans that I got from Fashion Nova. I did the shoestring method for the waist to cinch it in, y'all. Genius, whoever came up with this. You've saved me so much money. I did like four pairs of my jeans. Anyways, and then I'm doing this silver bag. These Zara mule pumps. Well, I guess they're mules, but yeah. And yeah, then this scarf on my head, I believe I got it from Dee Dee's. And then I just did a quick little makeup beat. And yeah, this is how we looking. Okay, so there was a little change in our plans. The guy who came in town to take me out to dinner. His original arrival time was 7.30. He didn't arrive until 9.45. There was a delay in him getting here. So yeah, he didn't get here till 9.45. And if y'all know Houston, regular restaurants close at 11 p.m. Unless you're going to get wings from like a sports bar. Restaurants close at 11 p.m. So of course he had to check into his hotel, shower, change. Anyways, to make a long story short, we are now just going somewhere to watch the fight. So we're meeting up at Prospect Park. It is 10.45. I'm hoping the main event hasn't went on yet. Usually the main event goes on between 10 and 11. It just really depends on the, the cards ahead of them. But yeah, anyway, so that's where meeting is Prospect Park. So watch the fights. Yeah, so that's our date. Our date is going to a sports bar because he ain't get here till like two and a half hours later than expected so anyways it is what it is it should still be a good night and yeah so i'm going on two dates in one night child crazy crazy but y'all know i'm just i'm a single girl having fun that's all that is <laughs> but the guy that i went on the date with earlier like me and him have become like really tight not friend zone we ain't got to the friend zone but we've become like really open with each other and i told him i said there's a guy coming in town tonight just to take me on a date you know so he he didn't feel no type of way so when you're open and honest with people from jump that is the best thing to be open and honest and really it would not have come up if the guy coming in town didn't call me back to back you know to let me know that he's like you know so I, I i was like i i have to answer this so yeah anyways yeah gina's dating adventures continues okay guys headed home it was a cute little night we just went to prospect park watched the fight i ate some wings and we talked he brought his friend with him understand the explanation but i just wish i had a known i would have brought tanya or jennifer with me or you know so i would have brought somebody with me so it was just a shock when we met up and he was like oh i just parked i'm like okay i just parked too i'm about to stand in the front i'm gonna wait for you and then somebody's with him it's just i wish i had a known so i mean not a deal breaker not not bad his friend you know was cool really chill like it was cool. It wasn't like it was an intimate day. We went to a sports bar and watched the fight. And we ate wings, you know. So, tomorrow we're going to try. Yeah, tomorrow we're going to try to link up. So, what he did, he came in town. He rented a car. He's dro Him and his friend are driving to Dallas tomorrow to go to the football game. There's a Saints and Dallas Cowboys football game tomorrow. They're going to the game. Then after the game... They're coming right back to Houston. So we might try to go to dinner tomorrow. He says his goal is to be back in Houston by 7 p.m. I don't see how that's possible. Literally at all. You're leaving Houston at 8 a.m. to drive to Dallas. Dallas is what, a four and a half hour drive? Five hours depending on how you drive of the road conditions. I 
missed my god darn exit. Oh my god. I'm okay. It's fine. I just wanted to go the other way. Anyway. I just don't see how that's possible and go to the game and then come drive back all them hours and be back in Houston by seven. I don't see that how it's possible, but hey, if there's a will, there's a way. We'll see. So, but anyways, our little link up was cool. It was cute. Good conversation. And yeah, now I'm headed home to eat my Tres Leche cake. <laughs> if Ashton hasn't eaten it all, I got a Tres Leche cake from Crumble earlier today. I had like three scoops of it. And then when I was getting dressed earlier, Ashton was like, that Tres Leche is pussy. And I'm like, oh Lord. So we'll see if I had, maybe she left me a little Kona. If she did, then I'm gonna sit up in bed and watch TV and eat my Tres Leche, yeah. Ashton! Yeah, I'm just, it's Sunday. I'm trying to straighten up the house because Tomorrow is surgery day. I have to be at the facility at 6 a.m. Tonight, I cannot eat or drink anything past 9 p.m. And I have to start my process of showering with the Heba Cleanse. I, there's a certain pill I have to take tonight. Um, I have to shower with the Heba Cleanse in the morning as well. And then just remember not to put on any perfume, any powder, any lotion, any deodorant. When I brush my teeth in the morning, I have to be very careful how much water even gets in my mouth. Like, <clears throat> it's a whole thing. So, what I'm doing now is just straightening up the house. Then I'm going to probably edit and release a vlog today. Y'all know Sunday is my release day, but like I said, I'm not putting too much pressure on myself this month. Just because I already prepared that I wasn't gonna be just doing a lot of work. You know, that's why I didn't take a lot of sponsorships this month. And anyways, I've told you guys this already, but today is like D-Day, like <sighs> less than 24 hours and I'm gonna have surgery. This time tomorrow, I'll probably be done with surgery. Possibly. I probably will be done with surgery tomorrow. I have to be there at 6 a.m. and it's 12 o'clock right now. So yeah. So, I'm a little nervous, I'm excited, I'm just ready to get the weight lifted off of me. <laughs> so, but yeah, so I don't know how much I'm gonna really vlog today, cause, well, I might vlog a little, little bit later. Let me make my coffee and clean the kitchen. One eternity later. Okay, y'all, it's way later. I have not vlogged today, which I had a feeling I wasn't going to, I just got work done and, straightened up around the house uh it is now it's 8 15 i got 45 minutes to eat y'all <sighs> 45 minutes because i cannot eat anything past 9 p.m because my check-in time to be at the facility is 6 a.m so i went to this new spot that i have passed by and wanted to try it's called hot spot cajun hot spot cajun cafe let me see yeah, Hotspot Cajun Cafe. Oh, here, I'm like, what's, I know this ain't all the food. What's the other bag at? Ashton got gumbo. I got some wings. Okay, so I got wings. And then I got a seafood basket. Shrimp and catfish. Ashton got gumbo. Y'all, this gumbo is so hot, it burnt through the lid. Gumbo and chicken strips, and Ethan just got chicken strips over there. Let me try one. Where's the salt? The hardest thing about having a restriction for eating and drinking is the water. Like, I keep water by my bed. I, like, hydrate myself so much. So, not being able to drink water, even, is what's going to kill me. This cocktail, y'all eat cocktail sauce? I like cocktail sauce. I like mixing cocktail sauce. I don't like really eating it by itself. But yeah, just not being able to drink any water is just like, oh gosh. Okay, I'm gonna mix the cocktail with the tortle. Mm. It's just okay. It ain't nothing to write home about. 
I ain't gotta eat there again. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to do a wig sponsorship real quick, and then after that, I'm done. Like, I'm done. I have my video edited. I thought I was gonna put it out today, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put it out tomorrow. And well, I actually got a copyright strike on it. I have music playing in the background that I didn't realize. And yeah, after that, I'm just gonna chill, watch some of my trash TV. <laughs> Oh, no, I need to read my instructions for, like, the pill that I have to take and the shower that I have to take. No, that's, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So after I do my hair sponsorship, then I'm going to do my surgery prep and then lay down and just, yeah, in that order, around that order. Okay, I'm just going through my medicine bag. This was given to me at my pre-op appointment. So I have to wash my body with this tonight and in the morning when i wake up it's called heba cleanse it's an antiseptic skin cleanser how much time i got left i got two minutes left before no water Ugh. let me drink a little something yeah two minutes left i have my prescription pain medicine and then these are the two pain medicines that they gave me at my pre-op appointment. And in the instruction, it says, bring all of your medicine with you to the appointment. And then I just took this pill. It's called Child Cynic. So this is how they look. I just took this one. This one was labeled as pre-op. Then that one says post-op. And then this one says bedtime, day of surgery, day one. And then they're all listed morning, day two, afternoon, day two, evening, day two, and then morning, afternoon, evening, day three, morning, afternoon, evening, day four, until they're finished. These are clinically proven to reduce bruising and swelling after. Okay, this is the Arnica. This is Arnica. Okay, so I'm used to the Arnica pills being really small. These are like big. So I just took that. I'm about to go see my friend real quick. I told you guys, the guy who came in town, I tried to like shake it and tell him like, no, because he just made it back to Houston at 8.30. And I'm just like, I don't want to meet up with you at nine and I can't eat and drink or whatever. So basically I'm just going to go see him real quick for like 10, 15 minutes and then just tell him bye. So yeah. And then, like I said, I still need to do a wig review. <sighs> Four seconds, three, two. <sighs> oh my God. Okay, that's it. I cannot have any more liquid, nothing. I need to get this away from my bed because sometimes just muscle memory, I'll reach for my water and just drink. So I need to mood either way. I need to put this out. I need to figure out what I'm wearing there. I need like a big shirt that I can just close and like either zip in the front or snap in the front. I think I have a moo moo like that. At least I used to. I don't know if I saved it moving into this house. I may have gotten rid of it. Or maybe I'll just bring a robe because I'm going to have my garment on and then just put a robe on. Maybe I'll bring a robe. Okay, let me try to figure that out. I'm trying to at least shoot a little bit of for y'all. It, it, like, I did not plan on even vlogging today, but I'm like, I still want to show them a little bit of content, like, leading up to it, because I know there's some girls who are interested in possibly getting something done one day. And I know y'all like to know, like, information and stuff. So, yeah, that's why I'm trying to just tell y'all as much as I can, but I just feel so, like, overwhelmed right now, like, it's, it's happening in a few hours and it's just like, <sighs> okay, I'll be back. Just took my shower with the Hibba Cleanse. Taking my nails off now because what's the point of having them if I'm about to be changing bandages and stuff? They told me I only needed to remove my pointer fingers, but child, y'all know me. <laughs> of course, it got to be the very last one that's going to give me issues. Okay, there we go. My toes 
tell y'all I'm so sleepy. I just tell how bad I am with time management because yeah, it is 11.40 right now. I'm about to hurry up and do this wig review uh, for this company that I was supposed to do days ago. <sighs> I can probably get the wig review done in about an hour and then lay down. I'm so, so Sleepy. I don't know why I'm so sleepy. And I slept good last night. Shoot. And had a nap today. I think I'm just mentally drained. I think that I, that's what I'm going to chalk it up to. I think I'm mentally tired. So my body is reacting physically. She's back. Got me a nice little yakky straight unit. Julia hair. It might be in this vlog or the one after. I'm not really sure. But anyway. Yeah. Oh, when I, I love getting my hair done, but having that same hairstyle for two weeks is kind of like, y'all know me, I switch my hair up all the time. So doing hair reviews allows me to look like a different bitch every two to three business days. So we let it. <laughs> y'all, I am like dying. I need some ice water. Oh my God. I think I'm about to just go to sleep. It's now 1245. I got to be up at 445. So if I go to sleep now, I won't think about the water that my mouth is missing. And the quicker I go to sleep, the quicker the day will come. The time will come. The day is here, but the time is near. But it ain't here yet. You know, it's just, y'all know what I'm trying to say. And that kind of rhymed bars. Anyways, yeah, I think I'm about to go ahead and end the vlog here, y'all. I'm about to end the vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, and yeah, I will see y'all in the next one. The next one is going to be a, a surgery vlog. So yeah, if you guys don't like surgery vlogs, if y'all not with the surgery, if y'all are totally against it, don't watch it. That's what I tell people. If you don't like my content, what I post, why put yourself through the headache? Just don't watch it. Go watch somebody who you like. Go watch somebody who got the content you like. If you don't like surgery content, I don't want to see no negative comments. I'm just going to block y'all. I'm going to block you. So just don't watch it if you ain't into it. So that's just that on that. All right. Love y'all. Peace out. See y'all in the next one.